Whenever we talk about energy, we think about a molecule called ATP. It always strikes our mind. And we recall a famous sentence related to this ATP molecule that it is the energy currency of the cell. It is because these are the molecules that drive our all cellular processes inside our body. But when this ATP gets used, how it gets recycled? What is the process? Let's find out in this video. So the process where ATP gets used and recycled again is the ATP cycle. First point we see here, it is a cyclic biochemical process that yields ATP from ADP. We get adenosine triphosphate from adenosine diphosphate. There must be any addition of phosphate group here. Second point we see here, there is a phosphorylation of adenosine diphosphate. That means addition of phosphate molecule to the ADP so that we get adenosine triphosphate. And another process occurs in this process in the ATP cycle is the hydrolysis of ATP molecule which means there is a breakdown of ATP molecule due to the reaction of water. And finally we see the ATP cycle releases energy stored in phosphoanhydride bond. So it is the bond that is present between oxygen molecule and phosphorus molecule and it must be noted here it is not the phosphate group or inorganic phosphate that releases energy but it is the bond between phosphorus and oxygen that has got lot of energy in it but it's a weak bond easy to break and it releases immense energy let's see the cycle now we have an adp molecule that's adenosine diphosphate molecule and we see it has got two phosphates bound to it and this adp molecule gets transformed into atp that's adenosine triphosphate so now it has got three phosphates bound to it that means there is an addition of inorganic phosphate here which adds to the ADP molecule making it ATP then and for this the energy is required to make a bond that means it's endothermic reaction here which needs energy and we get this energy from a cellular respiration like glycolysis After we get ATP from ADP, this ATP is ought to release energy because the last phosphate that has recently added to it is highly unstable because of the negative charges, because of the repulsive charges that is exhibited by the three negative charger species, that is oxygen in that case. So here the last phosphate, the unstable phosphate gets released from this ATP and it is transformed into ADP again and this reaction is aided by the water that's there is hydrolysis of ATP molecule and from this we get the inorganic phosphate back and there is a release of immense energy because the phosphoanhydride bond is broken here which has got lot of energy in it. In this cycle we see two types of reaction first is endothermic reaction where there is absorption of energy by ADP molecule because it needs energy to make another bond with inorganic phosphate so that it becomes ATP molecule and when there is ATP molecule there is hydrolysis of this ATP molecule it releases energy that means this reaction is exothermic reaction because it releases energy here if we see the reaction here ATP molecule combined with inorganic phosphate in presence of energy it gives ATP molecule plus energy that means there's an absorption of energy there's release of energy so both endothermic as well as exothermic energy is here so in order to drive the cellular process there must be any total gain in energy so it must be noted here the energy released is always greater than the energy absorbed in that ATP cycle so we have a total gain here ATP plus water that gives us ADP plus inorganic phosphate plus energy and this is reversible reaction that makes it a cycle. So this was all about ATP cycle in the next part of the video we will be discussing about how ATP gives energy and why this ATP gives energy and why it is highly unstable molecule than ADP. I hope you like a video. 
If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.